Welcome to your 15-minute tiny waist Pilates workout. If you are ready to tone your core and obliques, then come into an upright seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you. And on your next inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck your chin in. And repeat, inhale, open, lengthen your spine. And exhale, round. One more time, warming up the spine here. And then come into your C-curve, bring your forearms on top of each other. Inhale to prepare, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the right and repeat. Left and right. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And now start to pick up the pace a little bit faster. Keep your core engaged and pull your navel in and up. Beautiful. And let's do four more. Three, two, one. Come back to center. Take a deep inhale. Reach your arms up. Lengthen. Exhale. Reach forward. And then gently come back into your C curve. Relax your shoulders. Keep your elbows bent. Inhale to prepare. And exhale. Twist to the left. Lift the left foot. Inhale. Center. Exhale. Twist to the right. And repeat. Exhale out fully when you twist to the side and take a deep inhale when you come back to center. Think about drawing your navel to your spine and move with your breath. Beautiful. And four more. Three. Two. Last one. And now come on down onto your forearms. Your elbows are underneath the shoulders. Keep your chest open. Lift up your legs into a tabletop position. Inhale here. Exhale, rotate your legs towards the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, move them to the right with control. To the left on your exhale, back to center. And to the right and back. And let's do four more. And three, keep breathing. Two more. Last one. Come back to center, extend your legs, bring your heels together, toes apart. And we will draw big circles with our legs. First into one direction. Keep drawing your navel in, moving with control. Try to make the circles as big as you possibly can. One more into this direction. And now let's switch direction of the circles. Keep your chest lifted here. Press into your hands and forearms. And one last one. Beautiful. Bend your knees and lower your feet down. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. And let's start with crisscross. Right elbow to the left knee. Exhale, switch. And switch. And switch. Keep pressing your lower back into the mat. Exhale out fully when you twist to the side. Now keep your right elbow on to the left knee. Inhale, point and lift the right leg. Exhale, flex the foot and lower down. Inhale, point and lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Last one. And let's switch sides. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, point to left foot and lift. Exhale, flex and lower four times. 
two more. And last one. From here, extend the right leg and continue with crisscross straight legs. Keep the engagement in your entire body. Exhale out when you twist. Really good. And now let's pick up the pace. Let's go a little bit faster. And four, three, two. Last one, hug your knees into your chest. Release your head back. Take a moment here to catch your breath. And when you're ready, come on up and let's transition into a kneeling side plank on your forearm. Make sure your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder, right hand on your hip. And then lift your hips up. From here, extend your right arm to the ceiling, inhale. And exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it down. Beautiful, keep your hips lifted. Moving with your breath. We have one more. Inhale and exhale. You now have the option to repeat this movement on your knees or extend your legs for an extra challenge. And let's repeat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the arm and open the chest. Keep pressing into your left forearm and hand. Keep your hips lifted. Do not lower your hips down. Beautiful. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread the right arm down. Let's do two more. Last one. Keep your right arm lifted and let's pulse out the hips eight times. And five, four, three, two, one. And then lower the hips down. And let's turn to the other side to repeat this series. Come on down into your right forearm. Take some time to adjust. Lift your hips. Lift the left arm. Inhale. And exhale. Thread the left arm underneath the right. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Lower. Two more here. And last one. Repeat this movement on your knees or extend your legs. And let's repeat. Inhale here. Exhale or Keep your hips lifted. Keep drawing your navel in and up. And let's do four more. And three. Two. Last one. I know you can do it. And now keep your hips lifted. Pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then lower the hips down. Beautiful. Come all the way down into your right side. Creating one straight line with your body. Take a deep inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift both legs up. Inhale, lower them down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Use the strength of your obliques to lift your legs up and lower them down with control. Keep the engagement even when you lower the legs down. Last one. Keep your legs lifted and now just move the top leg up and down. Lift it up on your exhale, lower it down on your inhale. Try to keep the rest of your body as still and stable as possible. Lift and lower. Let's do two more. Last one. And now let's switch and move the bottom leg up and down. The higher you lift your top leg, the harder it gets, so find a level that works best for you. And now we have three more. Two. Last one. 
down and keep your legs lifted. Switch the legs as if you are walking in the air. This is one of my favorite exercises. It looks rather simple, but it really burns your waist and your obliques. Keep your toes pointed, core is engaged and stable. Really good, 10 more seconds. And then bring your feet together and then lower them down to the ground. Beautiful job. Let's do it all on the other side. Come on down onto your left side, extend the left arm, one straight line with your body. Inhale deeply to prepare. Exhale, lift both legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Come onto your right fingertips to support and stabilize your body. Using the strength of your core to lift up your legs. And let's do one more. Keep your legs lifted. Just move the top leg up and down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And four more. Three. Two. Last one. And now you know what's coming. Keep the top leg lifted and just lower the bottom leg up and down. Try to tap the top toes. Really good. Moving with your breath. And now switch the legs. Right leg forward, left leg back and switch. Keep your feet at hip height. Core is engaged and your face muscles are relaxed. Few more seconds. And now bring your feet together and lower them all the way down to the ground. What a side series. I hope you can feel the burn. And let's finish this workout with some plank exercises. Come into your low plank and then dip your hips to the right. Come back to center and to the left. Make sure your elbows are underneath the shoulders. Just breathe naturally here. Keep your core engaged and always think about drawing your navel up towards your spine. And let's do four more. Three, two, last one. Come back into your forearm plank. And let's move the right knee towards the right upper arm back to your low plank and switch sides. Right knee comes in and back and left knee towards the upper arm. Four more, three, two, one. And then just hold your low plank for a few more seconds to finish this workout. Keep your neck neutral, keep breathing. And let's hold for three, two, one. And now bring your knees down and send your hips back onto your heels. Come into your well-deserved child's pose. Take a moment to catch your breath. Let's walk your hands to the left side, feeling a nice stretch through the right side of your body. And move your hands to the right side. Now you're feeling the stretch in the left side of your body. Slowly come on up and let's finish this workout with a gentle and yummy side stretch. So come into your seated, hold onto your right ankle with your right hand. 
inhale lift and reach the left arm up and over towards the right taking a few deep breaths here releasing any tension and then move the left arm down reach the right hand all the way up towards the left and then slowly come back to center switch legs hold onto your left ankle with your left hand this time inhale reach the right arm up and exhale bend over to the side inhale here and exhale bring the right hand or forearm down and extend the left arm to the right and then gently come back to center thank you so much for joining me for this quick but effective waist workout i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a comment down below and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel as I post new workouts every week. See you soon.